What's up guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to update the BIOS on your laptop. This is for the 6G62VR 6RF Apache Pro. That's the name of the laptop. Alright, let's do it. First go here. Oops. And then you wanna type in the the name of the laptop. G E six two V R six R F Bad G oops, G Pro and Then I'll put in BIOS And we're gonna look for the first one I think So it's this one right here Laptops G62 VR6 That's the name of the laptop I use So now that we're here This is for basically updating the BIOS so don't do this at your own risk. So we're gonna look for the latest one. So this is what we're looking for right here. This is February 22, 2018. That's the latest one. So I'm gonna click here to download. Then this will show up and click OK. That will save the file. And then we're gonna click right here. Open that. And then close this. Oops. Wait, 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 wait. Let's open that back up. Oops. We're gonna go here. Go to downloads. It's right. Oh, this one right here. Open that file folder. See, I downloaded it twice. So I'm gonna grab this. Place it on the desktop. There you go. That's the file. And then what I'm gonna need is a USB Like this It's gotta be empty though Then I'm gonna put it here Make sure it's empty And then we're gonna open the folder Or the new folder the new... This one right here, that's the USB Open that What we're gonna do is uh, Let's see We're gonna extract this by right clicking and then extract here. And this is the file that showed up right here. So we're gonna right click on that and it should be this file right here. See that one? The E16JBIMS. We're gonna Place these two here in the USB folder, copy it, and there you go. It's copied, and we just delete this too. Delete. This should be in the trash folder. And then I'm gonna eject this. Wait, no, no, I'm not gonna eject it. What I'm gonna do now is restart. Close this. Go here, go to power, go to restart. What I'm gonna do is press delete. I'm gonna wait for it so we can go to the BIOS. There we go. So we're gonna look for that thing. For the USB so we can update this. <coughs> UFI BIOS update. So what we're gonna do is go to, I'm using this arrow to control it. See, these three arrows. Since you can't use a mouse, so we're gonna do it. 
go to main, go to advanced, then scroll down to UFI BIOS update, enter, and then we're gonna find it. So it should be this one, wait, let's go back. First what you wanna do is go to what the screen appears. Go to advance, hitting the arrow key. I can't use the mouse, so I'm gonna have to use the arrows. Then go down to UFI BIOS update. Press enter, it should show up. MSI in BIOS update function. Then press enter. You will see this thing right here. You're gonna have to choose where you stored it. So what I'm gonna do is choose the first one, which is a USB. So press enter. Make sure it's it says PCI USB because I'm using the USB right here. And then this should show up. And then I'm gonna choose the the one where the BIOS update. So it's this one right here, the E16JBAMS. I'm gonna choose that one. Then I press enter. So it says confirm update BIOS with E16JB. I click yes. Just simple power off and then power on automatically. Enter. And we're just gonna wait. Hopefully it works. So it's basically updating the BIOS. So right here it says reset RV boot block. I'm gonna proceed with flash update. Go down with the arrow and then choose this one. Press enter. So system firmware is updated, keyboard is locked, do not turn the power off. Once firmware is updated, press any key to reboot. So just wait for this, don't do anything. Because if you do you're gonna break and break your, your computer or laptop gonna permanently damage it and you're not gonna be able to use it anymore. Make sure you just wait for that. It should take it shouldn't take long. So just let it do its thing. Right in the image. Oh uh, yeah. See that wasn't complicated but depending on the BIOS thing that you have it'll probably look different than the one I have as all computers have different BIOS, you know, yeah, settings or BIOS, like my my like my desktop, for example, has a different looking BIOS than this one. This one, I think, is an older one. It's by American Megatrends. It's 2016. So the the new one has like a 2018 version. Plus, it's a different brand, or I don't know. I think the motherboard. This is MSI, that one is an ASUS motherboard, so it's probably a different, completely different altogether. So, yeah, just wait for it to get finished. So this is the most important thing, the firmware. It's not like the software. Firmware is the one that pretty much controls everything, it's because it's part of it. Okay, flush update complete, press any key to reset the system, and press enter. And then it's gonna shut off and then it's gonna turn back on, hopefully. There we go. Successful. I hope that was it. And then it'll shut down again and then turn on again. I'm probably gonna add some thermal paste on the CPU and this thing. And the GPU as well. Because I wanna th I wanna open this laptop and add some new thermal paste. You know, because it it's pretty old. This thing is I got this way back in 2015, I think. Oh wait. No, I got this laptop in 2016 or 2017. Okay, so after that should be done we're gonna check if it's updated so the mouse is working I'm gonna go in 
Okay, that should be it. So now I'm gonna check if it updated the BIOS. We're gonna go ahead and e eject this. Wait, wait. The USB. Wait, should I? Yeah. Gonna go ahead and delete. Delete that. Oops. What the hell? Oh. Okay, we're gonna delete this. Yes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the USB. Right click. Eject. And then save to remove it. Alright. And then we're gonna check. So first you're gonna have to have your CPU ID right here installed in your it's free so you can download it. It's called CPU ID CPU Z. Double click on that. Open the app. Basically checks if your motherboard is updated. We're gonna see if my uh, motherboard has updated to the latest BIOS. So what we're gonna do is go to the main board and then we're gonna check. Yep. So this is the new BIOS, January 16, 2018. The last one was what 2016. That was the previous version. So yeah, successfully updated the BIOS. That was it. it wasn't complicated. So this also shows you the clock speed, the RAM right here. How many RAM you have? Eight gigs. Tells you the graphics card. This is the Intel for the CPU. This is the graphics part, the NVIDIA one. Tells you the details, 16 nanometer, nanometer process, 6 gigs of uh, video memory. I got a GTX 1060 built into this laptop, so it's pretty powerful. Good. I can probably play games like The Witcher 3 with no problems. You know, Tomb Raider. The new Tomb Raider, this could play pretty good, but it doesn't have ray tracing, so it's a base of the older cards. So yeah, that's how you update your laptop BIOS. So that was it. So just make sure you you check the... What I do is basically I look at the version and the brand, and then I type or this manufacturer and the model. I will go to Google type these and this and then it'll show up of course, where you can download the BIOS or you can look at the brand see mine said Apache Pro whatever and that's how I was able to find the BIOS and so that's how you do it done peace so this is the core speed of the CPU it tells you the voltage And the cache you can right click and then it'll show you the speed of each cores this is only a four core right I think yeah yeah it only has four cores and eight threads it's pretty good CPU I mean it's an i7 6700 HQ not only uses 45 watts plus I'm using I'm not using battery power plugged into the wall outlet see so it's not using the battery you can use the battery but let's check battery is 99% so it's, it's it's fully charged so yeah how is it it's not complicated it's pretty easy like I said it but updating BIOS depends on what your computer or laptop is so it all varies.